all right all my wonderful online viewers we continue let now. us get good afternoon this is chemistry teacher for Lajini Akinpeloye. From where we stopped, we shall be looking at, we have looked into pH. Now let's see what happened next. This slide is talking about acidity or alkalinity can be identified by indicator or measured by universal indicator which change color in accordance with the pH of the medium, thereby showing the acidity, the acidic or the basic content of it. Let's say, look at what exactly I'm explaining here. This is methyl orange is an indicator. Take note, if you don't know before, lithium i mean litmus this is litmus paper is used as indicator phenolphthalein is another indicator let us see if you have methyl orange and you put acid inside methyl orange the methyl orange will turn to red that's the indication if you have blue litmus paper and you put it inside a solution that contain acid that blue litmus paper will turn red if you have a phenolphthalein solution and you pour little acid inside the phenolphthalein solution it will turn it colorless now acidic medium if you in basic or alkaline medium if you put methyl orange inside an alkali or a base the methyl orange will turn yellow. If you put litmus paper, red litmus paper inside an alkali, it will turn it blue. If you put phenolphthalein inside an alkali, it will turn it purple. Now, say what I'm talking about. pH range and color change of a universal indicator. Now, we shall move on to what we call types of salt we are now under salt when sometimes when salt is mentioned people think it is the salt we eat at home it's not always true and that is why i shall be telling you the five different types of salt number one of them is the normal salt that's the common salt you can get it in the market, you can borrow from your neighbor, you can do anything with it. Acid salt, basic salt, double salt and complex salt. If I may ask you this simple question, how many types of salt do we have? Your response will be in five. Mention in five. Number one, normal salt. Number two, acid salt. Number three, basic salt. Number four, double salt. Number five, complex salt. Those are the types of salt we have. Now, let's look at normal salt. Normal salt are formed when all the replaceable hydrogen ion in the acid have been completely replaced by metallic ion. Very simple. I take that again. Normal salts are formed when all the replaceable hydrogen ion in the acid have been completely replaced by metallic ion for instance nacl is a normal salt zn so4 is a normal salt look at it this is an acid this hydrogen is what makes it an acid because the hydrogen makes it an acid you can now see that here all the hydrogen are gone we are having a metal here so this makes it a normal salt this is also a normal salt because we have two hydrogen atoms here and because there are two hydrogen atoms here and here there is no hydrogen atom at all in this compound it makes it a normal salt so those are the examples of normal salt put that on your mind 
Revision is a process of growth. For you to grow in the learning process, you have to revise again and again. You have to learn something over and over. So I shall be giving you some tips, some jokes as we proceed. But if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, it won't cost you anything. Just click on the subscription and you are good to go. So, Sorry, Online chemistry colleagues and uh, classmates and uh, friends, we have done quite a number of some subtopics under acid, base, and salt. And I want you to enjoy this lesson. Just get a paper, get a book, a book, a paper, and a pen. In that book you'll be writing, in that paper you'll be jotting. Now let us continue on the types of salt this afternoon and see what it gets to give to us. Types of salt. Now we have the normal salt. Normal salt are formed. Like I explained even in the last lesson, when all the replaceable hydrogen ion in the acid have been completely replaced by metallic ions. Example, look at sodium chloride here. NaCl is sodium chloride. ZnSO4 is another salt. Now, these salts are normal salts. The reason is because there is no any form of hydrogen here. All the hydrogen that's supposed to be in this acid that would have made it ACL has been replaced by sodium. Please put it on your mind. And this is the reaction here. This is an acid, hydrochloric acid, reacting with a base sodium hydroxide to give us sodium hydroxide and water. Sodium hydroxide and water. I guess you can see that. Let's move on to the next nice slide. Look at the way it is here. Normal salt are neutral to litmus paper. They are very neutral. That is, the pH is 7. Let me give you a gist here. If I visit you in your house with a bottle in my hand and I tell you this is an acid, but the pH of this acid is 7, Will you be confident enough to drink it? If no, that is, you don't know your chemistry. If yes, it shows you know what you are doing. As long as the pH is 7, it is neutral, then you are good to go. Look at what it gives us. Also, ammonium chloride and sodium sulfide hydrolyze and they are pH change. Let's go to the next. We have acid salt. Acid salt. Acid salts are produced from dibasic or tribasic acid. When all the replaceable hydrogen ions are not replaced by the metallic ion, that is, they are partially replaced by metals. That is when you have what we call acid salt. Look at it completely here. We have this type of salt still contain replaceable hydrogen ion. Such a salt is acidic in solution and turn blue litmus paper red. It is capable of forming a normal salt in the presence of excess alkali. Now, these are the examples of acid salt. When you have, this is a dibasic acid plus a base, NaOH, then you have NaHSO4 plus H2O. You can still see this is NaH, this is sodium hydrogen tetrahydrosulfate surfaces. There is the hydrogen here, thereby it is called acid salt. If this acid salt is made to react with another or excess base sodium hydroxide, it's automatically going to give you a normal salt. Look at this is a normal salt because there is no 
atom of hydrogen in it at all. Let's move on to the next slide. Basic salt. Basic salt are formed when there is an insufficient supply of acid for the complete neutralization of base. Look at this. This is barium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid give us barium hydroxide chloride. Look at this one now. It's a basic salt. It's basic because there is OH here. This is basic. This is the ionizing equation here. So with this, you should be able to know what normal salt is, what acid salt is, and what basic salt is. So learn this, write it down, ask yourself questions, and continue to watch this YouTube channel. More topics, more subtopics shall be treated. And before the COVID-19 would even be over, you can be a master of yourself by learning all this. So stay watching.